You're listening to Tales of a Time Lord by R.R. Molyneux. Starring in vocal as the Doctor, Hattie Snoots as Maria, Lucy Jones as the Entity, and Alex Lynch as Reinhardt. Guest starring Justin K. Hayward as the Captain. Teardrop, the audio movie. It is 3 p.m. Earth time. Welcome to the museum. Please do not touch the exhibits. The penalty for touching the exhibits is execution. Please do not eat any unauthorized food on museum premises. The penalty for eating unauthorized food on the premises is execution. Please do not try to psychically bond with any of the exhibits. The penalty for unauthorized psychic bonding is execution. Have a wonderful time. I know, it's awful, isn't it? And it repeats every ten minutes. It's maddening. Dreadful. I don't know how you wear that smile every day. I have to. It's the only way you're going to get better. Are they treating you all right? Oh yes, they are lovely. Never knew androids made such good nurses. How long till I can see you again? Just another three years. I'll be counting down the days. Me too. I've got to go, Mum. My shift's about to start. Okay. I love you. Shift started. Hollow streamer disengaged. Well, better put my wall paint on. Hello there, children. And fully grown adult. Ignore me. I'm not important. Okay. Anyway, are you ready to learn, kids? Just kidding. Want to see some aliens? Let's begin with one of the museum's most famous exhibits, a perfectly preserved Dalek travel machine. Don't worry, the mutant creature that controls the machine has been dead for centuries. See? Perfectly harmless. Wouldn't be the first time someone's made that mistake. I'm sorry? For what? You haven't done anything yet. Anyway... This is a Civil War era Dalek from Scarrow. You can tell from the colour. Yes. I was always a fan of gunmetal grey. Much more cuddly. I'm not sure fan is really the term I'd use. True. It doesn't really do much to keep you cool. More boiling hot and screaming. Well, if it's feeling merciful. The Daleks wage war across the universe, fighting and uniting all kinds of races from the Mavellans to the Crotons. Croton? How did that thing fight Daleks? Don't be fooled by appearances. Legend tells of a Croton warrior that once slaughtered an entire Dalek battleship. Though whether it actually happened is a subject of rigorous debate. Both sides make excellent arguments. Indeed. Anyway, this is the dome. Famous for its exquisite dominus. Yes. It's a recent addition. Placed directly in the centre of the museum, nobody knows what it does, where it came from, or what it's for. Well, aren't you going to open it up and show us how perfectly harmless it is? Uh, no. Tell you what, kids. What can you tell me about the museum? Oh, I know. I know. Yes? The universe's 4,753rd most impressive collection of alien artefacts and oddities, which, when you think about it, isn't too bad because the universe is pretty big. Just behind the Zlyzanian Academy of Flotch and just ahead of the Chiswick Pencil Museum, it's also a space station, orbiting the planet Teardrop, so named because it only has a single continent and a vast ocean in the shape of a human teardrop. That's why it's called Teardrop, because of the continent, shaped like a teardrop. Did I say teardrop too many times? I felt like I did. Correct! And very comprehensive. Well, like I said, I'm a fan. Moving swiftly on, here we have a glitter gun. Developed by Tobias Vaughan, Managing Director of International Electromatics, the glitter gun was instrumental in giving humanity a much-needed edge in the cyber wars. It was also instrumental in bringing about the fifth golden age of (laughs) hip-hop. Quite. Tobias Vaughan developed multiple weapons for use against the Cybermen. Can anyone name another? Oh, I know. I know. Does anyone else know? No? Alright then, you with a coat. He also invented the Celebration Mentor. 
stupid name, still I suppose it did its job. Yes, the Celebration Mentor could overload a Cyberman's emotional inhibitor, forcing them to experience extreme emotion until they died. Horrible way to go. I'd argue being converted into a Cyberman is several orders of magnitude worse. So much screaming. I suppose you have a point there. I usually do. Attention! Attention! It is 5pm Earth time. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Please do not touch the exhibits. The penalty for touching the exhibits is execution. Please Why are you still here? The tour's over. I know. Just getting one last look. Awful, isn't it? What, the Dalek or the announcements? Yes. What happened to perfectly harmless? It's a Dalek. I just say that to the kids so their parents don't all write complaints. <laughs> yeah, Daleks are one thing, but irate parents. Now that's truly terrifying. Mm. So you think we should protect the children from the big scary monster? Not at all. I just don't see why it has to be a real Dalek. A replica would be just as good. I suppose. But then you don't get that hissing sound when the shell opens up. It's very satisfying. You certainly seem knowledgeable. I have a passing interest. Ever seen one up close? A real one, I mean. What makes you ask? I don't know. Something about your face. That expression. It's like nostalgia, but sad. Two emotions at once? I must be malfunctioning. <sighs> Private! Apologise to the lady. Sorry, Mum. Apologies, Mum. The new meat doesn't know how to act. Oh, good. A bunch of children with guns. This always ends well. You. I didn't see your file on the passenger manifest. Identify yourself. No. Explain yourself. No. New meat. Point your weapon at the intruder. Sir? That was an order. Yes, Captain. Oh, cocking your weapon. Nice touch. Very intimidating. How old are you? Seven? I'll be 18 in two weeks. So you're 17. That's basically seven. You will come with us, or he will shoot you. No. Not like this. Ask nicely. What? Like I said, ask nicely. Or... Captain, I really don't think this is necessary. He isn't even armed. That's what worries me. He's far too confident for a man being held at gunpoint. Then why are you trying to intimidate him? I tell you what. I'm a reasonable man. Cup of tea, and I'm yours. What? Well, all this childish posturing has made me rather thirsty. Would you like one as well? I've bought my own. Stole it from James Taylor in 1828. Whatever. Come with us. Very well. This better not be an elaborate ruse. They disagree with me. Let's go. Farewell, tour guide. Have fun guiding tours. I'm the doctor, by the way. Uh... Bye. Did you see? They have a croton back there. Love a croton. Wonderful dancers. The doctor? No. It, it can't be. Please, take a seat. Are these restraints really necessary? I'll give you an answer once I've asked a few questions. Surely I should be the one giving the answers. You're not very good at this interrogating, are you? Let's begin. Name? The Doctor. Real name? What's yours? Real name, please. Pleased to meet you, please. I'm the Doctor. You think you're clever? I have my moments, it has to be said. So what are you a Doctor of? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm not a Doctor. I'm THE Doctor. The definitive article, you might say. Can I get some tea? Tea would be fantastic. What's the difference? Well, it depends whether you're asking on Earth, the Gamma Forest or Gallifrey. Don't test me. Your eyes. You really mean that, don't you? It's the first believable thing you've said. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Try me. You civilians. You think war is all fun and games. No idea. I have some idea. You were a medic in the war? I've been a medic in every war. You're trying to confuse me. Trying? Not at all. 
simply one of the unfortunate side effects of being an idiot. Now, would you mind telling me why I'm here? This is the most secure facility in the entire quadrant. Nothing gets in or out without being fully accounted for. Every guest is rigorously screened before entering and exiting. Every speck of dust, every microbe is catalogued. All except for two things, you and this. Do you know what this is? That's a picture on a screen. I'm aware of that. What's it a picture of? It's a TARDIS. Specifically mine. What's a TARDIS? It's a ship. Looks very cramped. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Well, that's neither here nor there. It's unregistered and there's an outbreak. It's being prepped for incineration as we speak. I'd like to see you try. Wait, what do you mean, outbreak? A viral outbreak. That's why you're here. A virus? No, no, that wouldn't do it. It must be something else. What are you talking about? Oh, it doesn't matter. Looks like we'll be prepping you for incineration as well, since you're intent on being so uncooperative. Is that supposed to be intimidating? Well... Yes. Adorable. And stupid. Now that you've pointed your gun at me, where do you escalate to? You can't afford to kill me. I'm valuable. So what are you planning to do now? Because I'm not saying a thing. I'll just have to torture you. You? Torture me? Look at you! You're a security guard. A decorated protector of the universe's largest collection of Silurian chamber pots. I've been tortured by the best of them, from Henry Van Staten to Sutek the Destroyer. Actually, I suppose best is a relative term. What was I talking about again? Forgive me, you have a very forgettable face. Tell me, have you ever used a bayonet to amputate a 16-year-old's leg in the middle of a nuclear no-man's land? Well, I didn't have a bayonet. Now, about that tea. Sir! Sir! Not now! Wondrous, you there. Are you busy? Can you put the kettle on? Don't worry, I've got my own. Shut up! What is it? Sir! The Dalek display! It's come to life! What do you mean? I thought it was empty. It was! It just came back to life and killed Hobson and Anders! Captain, you need to let me out. You need to let me out right now. Why? Scared all of a sudden? Oh, on the contrary. I'm exhilarated. A ghost Dalek. I've never seen that before. There's also the little manner of being the only one here who can get us out alive. You know something about this? Not a thing. It's wonderful, isn't it? Stay here. I'll deal with you later. You can't get the staff these days. True. The pay's rubbish too. Oh, hello again. How long were you standing there? Long enough. I know the captain thinks you're some kind of lunatic, but that's not true, is it? No, I'm definitely a lunatic. But I like to think there's a bit more to it than that. When you said you were the doctor, you don't mean THE Doctor, do you? Well, I'm certainly not the Rani. I've checked and everything. It is you! I knew it! I have to get you out. Come on! Oh, goody. I'm gasping for a brew. Come on. Down this corridor. They'll need your help. Love a corridor. This day gets better and better. You! Stop there! Uh-oh. Bang! 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 That's a banana. Indeed. Better watch out. It's full of potassium. What? Potassium. Highly reactive metal. Explodes with a lovely purple flame. Goes very well with strawberries and ice cream and... Oh, I think I've distracted you for quite long enough. Long enough for what? For me to relieve you of your weapon. Get out of the way, please. Okay. Okay. Just don't shoot. I've only got three months left. Get in the interrogation room. Quick march! Yes, miss. Of course, miss. Excellent work. How did you know I'd... I didn't. So you just... Guessed. Yes. It really is a marvellous way to live your life. All right, I'll get the next one. Okay. Come on. This way. You laugh! Stop! Hiya! How did you... Venetian Aikido. Don't you need ten limbs for that? Not if you have a little bit of imagination and a lot of time. Fascinating. Come on, it's just this way. Cover the 
the shuttle bay! Protect the civilians! Sir, our weapons are doing nothing! Damn it! How many are left? Only six men left now, sir. What do we do? Arm everyone. Maintenance, medical, even the catering staff. Take that Dalek down! Sir, it's disrupting the communications. The only way to contact the staff is to use the direct line path. <laughs> sir. Understood. Rest well, soldier. Numit, I need you to run to the communications array. But, sir, what about the- I'll handle that. Oi! Those artifacts are valuable, you know! Missed! My turn! One left in the chamber. Where'd you want it? That won't be necessary. Why did you tackle me? And how did you escape? I got him out. Trust me, we need him. I'll handle this one. Don't step out there, you lunatic! Told you. It'll kill you! Interesting theory. Let's test it. Hello there! Nice eye store. Very fashionable. I'm the doctor, by the way. I'm assuming you know what that means. No. Really? How fascinating. This forms data banks. Doctor. The information. Extensive. Many faces. A family? No. Am I interrupting? Silence. No. Not a family. One man. Many faces. But not this one. This one is new. You're very observant. Species designation? Time Lord. It's you. It must be you. There is no other way. I'm sorry. What do you mean? They have many names for you. The Oncoming Storm. The Predator. Why? They? What do you mean, they? These creatures. Not like the humans. They are soft. Weak. This form is strong. Stronger than any in this system. It will suffice. Suffice? For what? My ascension. Everyone to arms! The station is under attack! The station is under There is a word. Swimming in the memory banks of this form. Excitement? Exceptional? No, that's not it. X. 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 Everybody run! Now! Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh, that is fun to say. Go, go, go! Close the doors. Oh, it's deadlock sealed. Let me have a look. You cannot leave. You must not leave. Become one with me. What's he talking about? Why doesn't he just kill us? He's thinking, learning. Are you having any look with that door? Just give me a minute. This isn't deadlock sealed. It hasn't changed the password. Now, oh, what was it again? Look, the bodies, they're coming back to life! One with me. One with me. One with me. One with me. You meet Ammo! Yes, sir, here! Good. Now, if you don't mind, get that door open! Just a second... Got it! Let's go! This way. One moment. Oh, there we are. That should buy us at least another few minutes. Okay, this way. To the medical bay. Hey, that rhymes. Are you sure this is the time? Not now. We're gonna die here, aren't we? Not if I have anything to say in the matter. Come on, just a little further. Tell me, does the medical bay have a kettle? What? Why? Oh, I'm just curious. No, but it has a direct comm line with the planet below. We can send for help. Are you sure it'll work? You have a better idea? Point taken. Come on, it's just through here. It's all right there! I'll shoot! I mean it! No, you won't. Son, just stop. Even if you were going to try and shoot us, you'd be dead before you pulled the trigger. Okay. We heard the base is under attack. Any idea what it is? Yes. One of the exhibits came to life. The Dalek. I told them that was a bad idea. Barricade the door! 
There's no way that thing is getting through. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Don't just stand there. Make yourself useful. It won't make any difference. When it feels like breaking the door down, the door will be broken. What is it? It doesn't sound like a regular Dalek. It wasn't a Dalek at all. Daleks don't bring people back after killing them. Well, usually. No, no, this is uh, something new, something powerful. It, it rejuvenates the bodies of the dead, rewriting biology on a molecular level, seemingly on the fly. It's very impressive. Does it get something out of that exchange, do you think? Maybe memories, or certainly seems to have a hive mind of Doctor. some sort. Doctor. Quiet, please, I'm thinking. No, not a hive mind. It spoke to us like it was an individual unto itself. A single entity controlling multiple bodies. I wonder where it came from. Who is this lunatic? <laughs> Uncanny. He's the doctor from all the stories. Oh, don't tell me you're one of those idiotic cultists. Everyone knows he doesn't exist. Well, that's disconcerting. Yeah, that's right. I absolutely, positively do not exist. I see. Glad to have cleared that up. We can access the comms array from here, right? Yes. Excellent. Use the terminal over there. Are there any wounded? No. I see. Any dead? Well, that's subjective. My men are dead. Don't make jokes. Not a joke. An observation. You'll be observing a bullet wound if you don't shut up. Okay, I'm establishing contact now. There's nothing. Well, that's not possible. The connection's never gone down. So there's no help coming? Afraid not, son. With a little time, I should be able to fix it. Is communications maintenance one of the core modules at Tall Guide School? If I say yes, will you leave me alone? <laughs> Probably not. Well, until you fix it, we should be safe in here. Two exits, easy to defend. Should be in the operative word. Oh, God. Do you feel that? Yeah, it's getting colder. It must have shut off the heating system. Get a fire going. I give the orders here. Yes, sir! What are your orders, sir? Get a fire going. Wonderful. Excuse me. <coughs> yes? Is that a Bunsen burner? It would appear so. Fascinating. Do you use it for cauterising gift shop wounds? Why are you so excited about some piece of antique lab equipment? Well, don't you see? I can make tea! I knew today was going to go well. Everyone on the station is probably dead. Well observed. Do you take sugar? <sighs> yes. Right. Got a nice brew on, so, uh, tour guide. How do you know so much about Daleks? Well, every child grows up hearing the stories about Daleks, don't they? Well, I don't know, do they? Yes! The Daleks! Terrible monsters of soulless destruction. We learned all about the atrocities of the Daleks. Chandrella, Helena Prime, Dorax. They wiped out civilizations by the thousand. Killed billions of billions of people. They're monsters. Yeah, I'm not overly fond of them either. But there's more to it than that, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, don't play the fool with me. I'm the best at playing the fool. In fact, I invented playing the fool. Anyway, what happened? Helena Prime. My entire family. All except my mum. Oh, I see. They knew they were coming too. The Emperor was evacuated very quickly. The rest of us? We had to be patient. You know what the worst part is? They take their time. They savour every little moment of every little kill. They let you run away, but it's never far enough. They let my brothers run. My father burned in our home, running in to grab my little sister. My mum and me are all that's left. She was half dead by the time we arrived here. Needed the best surgery money could buy. I'm so sorry. You know, there's two kinds of Dalek story. There's a the first kind, very much the most common, I might add, where the Daleks show up and burn a world to ash. And then there's the second, where they're stopped. By you. Tell me, Doctor, when you drop down from the sky and scare away the monsters, do you choose where to land? And if so, why didn't you choose Helena Prime? Well, firstly, I sometimes choose where I go, but I get sort of I don't know, jostled around a lot. You could call it an occupational hazard, I suppose. And secondly, the fall of Helena Prime is a fixed point in time. I cannot intervene. <laughs> so you do have limitations. 
Limitations. As much as I hate to admit it, I have an extensive collection. I'm flesh and blood, I just take a different path over the expanse of time. Humans tend to lead a short, linear existence. Mine is sort of long and squiggly. Doctor, I've heard some say that you're tens of thousands of years old. I've heard others say that you're older than the universe itself. Which is it? I often forget. Too long. Is that a satisfactory answer? Not really. Shame. Yeah, are you quite done indulging this maniac? Whether he's the real thing or not, the Doctor helped save our lives. He deserves some respect. He saved your lives. That says more about your competence than his. I... Attention! Attention! Not this again! Wait a moment. Time is an illusion. Earth time doubly so. Welcome to the museum. <laughs> well, that's new. Must be a glitch. Please do not touch the exhibits. The penalty for touching the exhibits is execution. Please do not eat unauthorised food on museum premises. The penalty for eating unauthorised food on the premises is execution. See? Perfectly! Please do not fight back. The penalty for fighting back is execution. Normal. Please do not run. The penalty for running is execution. Please do not hide. The penalty for hiding is execution. Please become one with me. The penalty for not becoming one with me is execution. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Well, this isn't good. No, it isn't. And if time is an illusion, how could we possibly have a wonderful day? We're gonna die here. We're getting through this as sure as these walls are white. Really? I'd say they were more sort of, well, cream. No, I'd call them beige. Will you all just shut up for a minute? Yes, sir! Of course, sir! What are your orders, sir? At ease. Seriously? Yes. And besides, the walls are clearly seashell. Oh yeah, I can see it now. You can? No. Kettle's boiled! Everyone sit around that fire. Well, there's certainly worse ways to be trapped. So, I'm assuming you all have names. I can't very well keep calling you by your titles. That's my thing. My name's Maria. Reggie. Reinhardt. It doesn't matter. I don't deserve a name. That's why I'm here. Anyway, Doctor, what's yours? Just the Doctor, thank you very much. Uh, definitely a lunatic. Uh, excuse me? Yes, Reggie. What is it? Well, sir, why hasn't that thing tried to kill us yet? Well, either it can't find us or it's binding its time. Question. There's something different about you. All of you. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's like there's some nameless, ugly, terrible thing sitting in the corner of the room. It's staring right at us and no one's acknowledging its existence. What is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Good soldier, bad liar. No wonder you're a security guard. I say we tell him. Tell me what? There's no point in holding back now. There's a what? I'm great with what's. Just ask Tesla. Come on, that was only 3,000 years out of date. I thought this was a museum. That's practically cutting edge. This is more than just a museum. Well, all the guns sort of gave it away. On the observation deck, there is a dome. Within that dome is a detonator. <gasps> a detonator? For what? The planet. That must be what the entity wants. Fascinating. Fascinating? No, it's something else. I already knew that. How could you possibly know that? It's beyond top secret. And yet, none of you seem phased by the revelation. Even her. Which begs the question, what kind of tour guide has beyond top secret security clearance to the big red button? The kind with one hell of a debt to society. Hmm. What kind of debt? Eh, stole a few credits. <laughs> a few hundred thousand? From a trillionaire! And a crooked one at that. I needed it for my mother's surgery. What happened? Actually, no, we talked about that. It's in the past. Very boring. Moving around the room. You, seven-year-old. What's the story in Balamori? I volunteered. What? My brother. He got in some trouble with the law. Real trouble. He wouldn't last five minutes marching around and taking orders. So I took his place. Very brave. And boring. Next, Captain. What about you? Someone as haughty and important as you must have some well-calcified skeletons in his closet. 
I was leading a recon team, tracking down a bunch of insurgents on Peladon. They released a bioweapon, a virus, which spread across the town of Beladonia overnight. It threatened the entire planet. So what did you do? I gave the order. We activated a delta wave in the town square. 400 innocent civilians. I still hear the screams when I close my eyes. Tell me, Doctor. You know something about that, don't you? I see it in your eyes. Every time I tell that story, I get the same looks. Disgust. Judgment. But you... Your eyes are different. Tell me, why is that? Well, I was like you once. Once? What happened? Uh, reconnected with myself. And what about you? I eat people. What? I cook them first. <laughs> That's alright then. What? What? The only thing separating you lot from the animals is ovens and utensils. And what about you, Doctor? For someone so eager to wallow in our shame, you don't have much to offer. Me? I'm just an idiot with a box. And occasionally, I have a bad day. Bad days that result in millions of deaths. I thought I didn't exist. Whether you exist or not is academic. Whether you are benevolent is the real question. What are you implying? Well, how do we know you're not some deranged psychopath? How do we know this isn't some elaborate game? Don't be absurd, he saved countless lives. Has he? Or are they just lucky survivors of his destructive rampages? The funny thing is, you think that's an original observation. Why does a medical lab have a Bunsen burner anyway? Sorry, that's not important. You know there are whole religions dedicated to you, right? There are many who think you're some kind of god. Well, that's stupid. I'd be rubbish at being a god. And believe me, I've tried. It's not my fault your gene pool is littered with idiots. You've certainly got a healthy messiah complex. <laughs> Comes with the territory. Oh, stupid, Doctor. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It was right there in front of me. What was? The announcements. The ridiculous, patronising and, let's face it, really rather annoying announcements. They've stopped. Oh yeah. I didn't notice. Me neither. Didn't? Or couldn't? What do you mean? Well, it's just a hunch. Could be nothing. Probably nothing. A hunch about what? Well, tell me. What colour is that wall? Cream. Beige. White. Well, it's different for all of us. How's that? More importantly, this came up before, and you all gave different answers last time. What are you saying? Well, whatever this is, this entity. We don't have a comprehensive comprehension of the creature's capabilities. It could be contaminating the composition of our consciousnesses with catastrophic consequences. What? He means that whatever this thing is, it might be able to mess with our heads. Oh. Whew. Had me worried for a minute there. Yeah, I can see how you wouldn't consider that a threat. What kind of mess are we talking? Well, I'm not sure yet. Maybe post-hypnotic suggestion? Whatever it is, I'd say it probably worked. And what makes you say that? Because this isn't the medical bay. What are you talking about? Of course it's the medical bay. No, you were led here too. Look around. The walls are changing colour. They're getting closer. What? Oh no. This is a cell. We're in the brig. Well, I'd call that hunch confirmed. I hope that locked door was at least real. Small mercies. Right. We have 20 seconds to get out before that thing reaches us. We can't get out. Quiet, please. Now, let's see. Captain, can I borrow your comms pack? Sure. It's useless, though. Only to you. OK. If my calculations are correct... Who am I kidding? Of course they are. I can patch into the Transmap network. Ah! I need a power source. Anyone happen to have a warp star handy? One with me. Fantastic! Can I borrow it for a moment? Oh no! They're coming! That Dalek looks... different. What's that stuff coming out of it? We oh, men! What's it done to them? They're hideous! These bodies were weak. They required enhancement. What kind of enhancement? Technology and biology merged and upgraded at a subatomic level. And all in a few minutes? That's astounding. And I bet the gun on the Dalek is much stronger now, right? Considerably. 
And I bet if you really wanted to, you could turn all of us to dust in a single shot, right? I could. But then you couldn't become one with me. Oh, don't be greedy. You've already taken over the whole station. I doubt we'd make much of a difference anyway. What are you doing? Oh my god, you really are a lunatic! The Dalek database states that you possess considerable knowledge. Does it now? And what's the primary protocol when facing me? Well, go on. What does it say? What are you doing? X. Oh my god. X. No! Please, no! X. Say it. Go on. X. 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 You've taken his body. Now play the part. That's how you work, isn't it? You absorb a little bit of the minds of your avatars. We'll let you in your Dalek out to play. Exter. Doctor. What the hell are you doing? Exterminate. You've murdered us all! Exterminate. 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 Everybody open up your eyes. Huh? What? Where are we? Far side of the station. Captain. Yes? Oh. <coughs> what did you do? Here's your compact back. It's a bit melted, I'm afraid. I used the Dalek gun as a power source. I had to charge it to absolute capacity so it'd send us as far away as possible. Should buy us at least a little while. Oh, that's actually pretty clever. Oh, I hate being teleported. Always messes with my guts. You meet ammo up. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, like all really good tricks, it only works once and the entity will have shut off the transmat systems, so let's not waste the opportunity. Is the plan still to contact the planet? Yes. Okay, then we need to find a comm station. There's one right there. How convenient. Looks like it works. Hold on a minute. Get back! What? It's not a comm station. Look again! One with me! Oh no. Get down! It's the catering staff! New meat, two arms, aim for the knees! Yes, sir! One with me! One with... That should do it. At least they aren't bulletproof. Yet. Perfect! I'll be taking a look at you later. There's a chemistry lab a couple of floors down from here. We show the kids how reactive chemicals work. Basic stuff like that. Still, if you got creative... We'd have explosives. Yes, I like the sound of that. Maybe Professor Shuri is still alive. We had dinner plans tonight. Sounds exciting. Probably dead. Yes. Probably. Um, sir? Yes, Private? The mist off, sir. They're gone. Oh. So they have. Fascinating. It's a good thing I got a sample then. I can't wait to find out more. Why the hell are you smiling? Because this is something new. It doesn't happen much to me these days. I think he's insane, personally. Possibly a genius, but insane. In my experience, those are the worst kind. Mine too. Hmm. Look at this. The exhibit. It's been destroyed. Huh. A Diraxi warrior. That takes me back. I don't understand. Why not just possess it? It did it to the Dalek. Isn't it obvious? Daleks are among the most advanced killing machines in the universe. Every element of their design has been conceived with conquest and domination in mind. Our entity absorbs information from every being and machine it consumes. Memories, thoughts, ideas. It's only had humans and human technology to feed on so far. The Dalek's too much for it. Well, at least in its current state. Yes, that makes sense. So you're saying the Dalek is driving the entity to destroy the exhibits? Exactly. Otherwise, we'd be dealing with an enemy possessing the sum knowledge of hundreds of species. Ha! <laughs> Ironic. Dalek bloodlust is the only thing keeping us alive. The universe is a wonderful place, isn't it? Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah, uh, yeah. Teleportation can be a harsh mistress. So, are we the only ones left? In the museum? Quite possibly. Is all this equipment real? Will you stop poking around that dead Daraxi? It's no way to treat a soldier. Yeah, stuffing and mounting them is much more dignified. Aha! I think I'm going to be sick. What the hell are you doing? 
The Dirac- Diraxi warriors have a subdermal implant which regulates body temperature. It's what allows them to survive in even the harshest conditions. What she said. I'm not sure why you're taking it though. I've just always wanted one. Stick it on the Christmas list every year and always get socks. I figured I'd take matters into my own hands. Over here! What is it? Mess hall! It's been destroyed! Looks like they were overwhelmed. No bodies. A lot of blood though. Hold on a tip. Don't stick that in your mouth! At least ferment it first! It's fine! If I get sick, I'll just stick the virus in a room with you. It'll kill itself in less than a minute. Ugh, the blood is tainted. Well, I could have told you that. It's blue. Maybe it just hasn't been oxygenated yet? Yeah. And maybe they all died from having their chakras misaligned. No, not poison. Not nanotechnology. Not a mutagen of any kind. I still have the same number of parts. Any luck? Not really. I can tell you what it isn't. Beyond that, I'm almost as lost as the seven-year-old. Seventeen? Shut up! Yes, sir. How can you tell that just from licking the blood? Because I'm a Time Lord. Are you sure you have a medical degree? No. That, that's impossible. You can't possibly be real. You know, I'm getting the funniest sense of deja vu. Here. Put your hand on my chest. Don't worry, my ribs aren't going to sprout teeth and eat you. Though that might not be a bad idea for the next regeneration. That's impossible. I, I, I thought the Time Lords were a myth. Oh no. They just tend to stay out of affairs these days. They got a bit bashful after the last Time War. The Time War was real too. Oh yeah. I try not to dwell on it. Now, are you quite satisfied right now? Yes. Very satisfied. Excellent. Oh, look. Maria, is that a real Santar and Buster grenade? Yes, but it's inert. No matter. That's not what I need. What are you doing? Firing mechanism. Is there a reason? Probably. Are we done here? We should make our way to the comms array. That rhymed. Is this really the... Finish that sentence and I'll shoot you. Well, then you'd be trapped on this station for the rest of your life. Admittedly, not very long, but still. Mm, point made. So, stopping off at the lab first? Stopping off at the lab first. I like our chances better if we can get a hold of some explosives. Splendid. Well, let's get a move on, then. What was that? Is something there? Attention! Attention! That was a good trick you pulled, Doctor. You have a wonderful mind. Soon it will be one with me. One with me! New meat! Five rounds! Rapid! One with me! It's the catering staff again. They look... different. They're still coming. New meat! Reload! One with me! Yes! Their skin is covered in some sort of natural armour plating. Your bullets won't stop it. I suggest we run. Run with me! Why are you still shooting? It won't do any good. It's doing me good. It's just this way. Quick! Everyone inside! One with me! <sighs> that was lucky. Oh, I like this. Very nice. Lovely collection of chemicals. It's like a sweet shop. Meet. Let's check the corners. Yes, sir. One with me. It's Professor Shorey. One oh. with me. I'm sorry. How can you tell? It doesn't have a face. One with That tentacle me. on the right. I think that's the shoulder. There's a ring on it. She always wore that ring. Fascinating. One with me. Would you mind me. holding them off for a moment? Aluminium. Try not to die, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's very reassuring. One with me. Any ideas, Meat? This is it. Could you pass me the iron oxide, Reinhardt? There's a good chap. One with me. We're gonna die. One with me. Liquid nitrogen. That should slow her down. Thank you, Maria. That could have ended. Badly. One with me. Doctor. 
Almost there. One right. with me. We have to light up this magnesium strip. And... One with me. Thermite. You killed it. You killed her. Let me just be sure. How did you fit a stick that long in your pocket? <laughs> Grow up. Trade secret. Hmm. Yes. After a couple of precise applications of minimal kinetic force, you poked her with a stick. Thank you. Very helpful. Anyway, I have determined that this creature is most definitely, definitively deceased. Delightful. The psychic connection must have been severed when the thermite destroyed what was left in her brain. Reinhardt? Yes? Help me pop these remains on the table. There's a good chap. Alright then. We'll stop here for a moment. Meet Maria. Let's make some more of that thermite. Yes, sir. Good idea. Tell me, is that a Raston arc reactor over there? Yes. Must be here for maintenance. Why? Could you pass it here? It's a priceless artefact. It's also useful. And the last thing we need is the entity getting its hands on it. Better our hands than it. You're not keeping it. Shame. I thought it'd look quite dashing with this coat. Right then, beautiful. Let's see what we have here. Uh, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. It's a real shame to see meat so badly tainted. Would have made a lovely pate. Reinhardt! I don't know. I was thinking sausages with black pepper and leek. Maybe a hint of paprika for that bit of zing. Doctor! Did you know that the native people of Polynesia used to refer to human flesh as long pig? I don't see what that has to do with... Or nothing. I was just going to say I never much cared for it. It just tastes like pork. I already have pork. So you've eaten people? Well, it's not like I run around trying to take bites out of people. But if it's put in front of me, it's not like I can refuse my host's hospitality. People would start to talk. I don't enjoy it. But it's a necessity of moving through such a big universe. I see. Thank you. By the way, Reinhardt, I recommend you try souvlaki sometime. It goes down lovely with the Fetzer's Infidel 68. Lovely year. Wouldn't that just be vinegary dust by now? Not if you have a time machine. That does sound delicious, actually. I'm oh, sorry. With pork, not human. I can't believe I'm having to make that distinction. Today is not going well. Oh God, I need to call my mother! It's okay. We'll get to the comms array. And I meant pork too, by the way. Really? Probably. Fascinating! This brain has been almost completely cannibalised. No amygdala. No cerebral cortex. It's just an empty shell. And yet the entity seems to retain the memories of its victims. How does it do that? Every answer just brings new questions. That's be frustrating. Don't be ridiculous. It's exhilarating. The rush of the unknown, the threat of death, the smell of mystery in the air. This is what I live for. People have died. Would you rather I stop to mourn them or solve the problem? Bit of both. Ah, but that takes up valuable solving time. In the stories, they say that your compassion is boundless. Stories being the opposite word. Are you done? We really should be getting a move on. I think I have everything we need here. And what would that be? Well, I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you know when I am. We've got about a dozen of these thermite grenades. I don't think we should stay here much longer. Uh, excuse me? Look at this. What is it, Reggie? This terminal. Look at the readings. The satellite network around the planet has been disabled. Makes sense. Wouldn't want anyone interfering, would it? Interfering with what? With the creature's plans for the planet. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious, boy? This entity didn't come out of nowhere. There are reports of an infectious outbreak on the planet, probably connected. Yeah, I'm starting to think that's true. We should contact the planet as soon as possible. We need to know what we're dealing with here. And find out if our families are safe. Hmm? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 of course. This way, did you say? Yes, if we cut through the welcoming area, we can get there in half the time. Very well, Maria. Let's get moving. Sir, yes, sir. Here we are. Not very welcoming, is it? Yeah, the blood splatter and signs of struggle do rather undermine the intended ambience. I must have walked into this room hundreds of times. It's never felt so cold. Yeah, that's the heating system. Must have been deactivated. It's getting colder. Yeah, it just went down a couple of degrees. 
It is getting a bit nippy. Attention! Attention! Oh, great. Your time has run out. Welcome to the museum. I hope you've had a good journey. It ends as it began. I have you surrounded. In a moment, you will freeze to death. If you try to tamper with the heating system, I shall open the doors and kill you myself. There is no escape. You will be one with me. Very poetic. I see you've put all the minds you've stolen to good use. Have a wonderful time. What are we going to do? Well, I can cobble something together just to get us through to the comms room, but we won't get far unless we switch the heating system on. The controls are in the surveillance deck. That glass dome up there should be able to reactivate it. Another couple of degrees. Now it's freezing. I'll go and turn on the heating system. Good idea. My toes feel like they're about to drop off. Okay. Should be just over there. Ah. Nice and toasty. Uh, the temperature's still dropping. Oh. I think you misunderstand. I only switched on the heating in here. Reinhardt, you son of a Suntaran! We'll freeze to death! Yes, that is the idea. So cold! You're an observant one. How could you? I eat people. Did you think that was a charming quirk? But why? Going to the cop station is a waste of time. I'm getting out of here. And how do you plan on getting past our rather possessive friend over there? Simple. This creature's clearly intelligent. It can care less about us humans. We're dime a dozen. There's billions of us down below to feast on. We're like the lowest class of junk food. Common as mud, half as tasty. But you, Doctor, you're a gourmet delicacy. The knowledge and experience inside that brain of yours. Delicious. Am I on the right track? You are correct. I'm going to make a trade. My life for his, with the others as a side dish. What do you say? I give you them, you let me leave. Do we have a deal? Your offer is satisfactory. Turn up the heat. I desire a warm meal. Wow. Making jokes. You're practically human. As you wish. Oh, that's nice. Small comfort. One, One with me. me. They're hideous. Yeah, it would appear the genetic modification process has progressed rather briskly. Are those pincers? One, One with me. me. Fascinating. Meet to arms! One with me! One with me! It's not working! One with me! One with me! One with me! something. There's a hole in the ground. Superb deduction, Master Holmes. Everybody jump. I'll cover you. Ah, thanks for breaking my fall, Reggie. Is everybody down? Yeah. Present. Oh. One, one with me. Would you mind just staying there for one moment? Thank you. The ceiling's been repaired. You really don't miss a trick, do you? That ceiling won't hold forever. We're leaving. Okay. It's this way. They got away. Correct. Look, I, I can still be useful to you. I can still help. How? I'm an excellent cook. Why are you looking at me like that? One with me. No, stay away. We had a deal. One with me. No, we had a deal. Correct. No, stay back, please. One, One with me. me. I can help. Yeah. One with me. 
One with me. One, one, one with, with me. me. So, Doctor? Yeah? How did you do it? How did you get us out of there? Simple, really. I reverse engineered the heat regulator chip from the Diraxu Warrior and the firing mechanism from the Sontaran grenade to create a triggering mechanism for the Rastan Arc reactor. I used my sonic screwdriver to interface with the chip and create a temporal shift field around the atomic structure of the floor, trampling all over the Delarakian interpretation of quantum phase theory and allowing us passage to here, where the floor becomes the ceiling. What's that word? Tip of my tongue? What? He means that he made a hole in the floor with all the junk he's been picking up, then sort of reverse time in a single spot to put it back together. Oh, that makes sense, I think. Right, downstairs. That's the word. What were we talking about? Oh, it doesn't matter. We were talking about getting to the comm station. And which direction was that conversation headed? Straight ahead. It's not far now. Just a right turn here and down another corridor for a couple hundred metres. Hold up. They'll have broken through the ceiling by now. Wait a second. What are we stopping for? It'll just be a moment. There. That should slow them down. Yeah. Very linear. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's coming from over there. Uh, to the left. It's the children from the tour group. They must have survived by hiding in the vents. They're small enough. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get you home. You're safe now. This is the doctor. He's here to save you. Right, doctor? Maria, why are all their backs turned? Doctor? Doctor? doctor yes. Doctor? How do I get into the TARDIS? I want to look inside. What's wrong with their eyes? Oh, I hate being right. One with oh, no. me. They're just children. One with One me. Not anymore. One Run. with me. What are you doing? One Slowing them down. Me. They're just children, sir. No. One the with children me. are dead. This monster is using them as puppets. Good thing they only have little legs. One with Stop me. Stop at this checkpoint. One Maria, me. can you lock this door? Yes. What are you doing? Do it. They'll catch up soon. Okay. Good. Now, set it to open on my command. Why? I'm staying behind. I'll buy you all the time I can. What? Sir, you can't! This is the best chance of a good death I'll ever get. Please, don't. This won't make up for Peladon, but it'll do. I know the names of every single person who died that day. Let's see how many I get to. Sir, the door won't last. We can still go now. I have to do this. One day you'll understand. Take care of them, you meet. Captain Stewart, please! Stewart? Yes, Clan Stewart. Well, I was. I lost that when I came here. At least this way I can die like one. Now go! But... No, let's go. Thank you. It's been a privilege to work with you. It's good to know the stories are true. Now go! Sir, yes sir. Goodbye. Go! You've already wasted so much time! Yeah, quite. Come on. Finally. Looks like I've got about 50% door integrity left. One with me. That'll do. One with Sam with Waver. Me. Traitor. Dilux Bezel. Care worker. Res Petra. Parent. Dexra Petra. Child. Vin Cassel. Doctor. Charlo Holtley. Petty Thug. Harold Blitz. Salesman. Come on. Jezarek Khan. Politician. Yulia Red. Delivery girl. There goes the door. One with me. One with me. Never our rev. Undertaker. One with me.
Secondly, he'd want us to do what we came here to do, right? Right, Seven? Seven? You mean me? Unfortunately. Um, yes. That does sound like the captain. Excellent. Well, let's honour him. Captain Stewart, eh? I knew I liked him. I'm a family friend. Okay. I've patched us through to the military headquarters in the capital. Hello? Hello? Can you hear us? Yes? Great. Hello. Well, not great. The museum has been overrun by an unknown alien presence. Uh, a presence? Can you describe it? It takes over the bodies of its victims. Some sort of hive mind. It's already killed and assimilated everyone in base. It's evolving fast. Potentially, it could threaten the entire system. The system? Yes. No, no, no. That won't do. Excuse me? No. Not a system, not even the galaxy. Soon the universe will be one with me. No. Oh, so that's what it was. One with me. One with me. Try another channel. One with me. And another. No. One with me. And another. One with me. One with me. It's taken over the planet. Indeed it has. It must have spread across the entire planet and station simultaneously. Incredible. I need to make a call. We need to leave. It'll just take a moment. Maria! Please, Doctor, I have to. Mum? Yes, dear? Thank the stars you're okay. Yes, have you heard what's happening outside? It's anarchy! Yes. Just stay there. We're coming to get you. Mum, this is the Doctor. The one from the stories. Hi. Please come soon. It's ever so lovely. We're coming soon, Mum, I promise. Wait. You wait. We'll be right there. I love you, Mum. Ever so lovely. Please, Maria. Please come. I will. Please come and be one with me. Mum. One with me. Mum. One with me. Not you. Please, not you. One with me. It's as I feared. The entity must have taken over the entire planet. It'd be easy enough, I suppose. The whole thing's landlocked. That thing killed my mother! Unimportant. Thinking. Yes, that makes sense. Maria, can you- My mother was not unimportant! Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're right. I'm so terribly sorry. What were you going to ask me to do? If I interface with the station's main computer, can you bypass the entity's stranglehold over the transmat system? Um, yes. It'd take me at least five minutes, though. We don't have five minutes! You have 30 seconds. Wonderful! What are you going to interface? Yourself? Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to use this. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. One with me! They're coming from both sides! They flanked us! Shut up, Seven! One with me! me. And you can shut up too! Anyway, you know what TARDIS keeps? Well, I've only heard about them in stories. There! Stories, eh? What have you heard? Oh my. What's happening? Both fire buildings in the control room. There's a shooting rage in my to the left. Is this? It is. What do you think? It's a bit dingy. It's very dark. It's a bit creepy, really. Are those gargoyles? Yes. The 
give me something to talk to. You collect comic books? I collect a lot of things. I have plenty of room. Now, we have to destroy the planet. What? You knew. Look, I know a lot of things. Please be more specific. You knew this was going to happen. You knew all those people were going to die. You knew my brother was going to die. Reggie, how could the doctor possibly? Yes, I did. What did you just say? How did you figure it out? You knew! I had my suspicions from the way you were acting. Like nothing mattered. You knew stuff you shouldn't. But what confirmed it was something you said. And what was that? Oh, so that's what it was. Captain Stewart was right all along. You aren't to be trusted. Reggie! Put the gun down. I can explain everything. For all we know, you caused this. No, stop being stupid for just one moment. One measly little moment and listen. Can you do that, Reggie? Can you listen? You have 30 seconds. Well, most people presume that time is a straight line because they experience it from a linear perspective. But in reality, it's a lot more abstract and expansive. It sways in the winds of uncertainty kept from blowing away into chaos by fixed points in reality that give this universe its structure. Sort of like a tent. Get to the point! Well, as I was saying, for the most part, time is in flux. It's possible to alter it, create different outcomes without doing irreparable damage to the existential status quo. Fixed points are the exception. They cannot be changed. So to do so would be catastrophic on a universal scale. This event is one of those very fixed points. Okay. Maria, could you translate that for me? I think he's saying that some parts of history can't be changed. This is one of them. It's worse than that. I'm the one who has to pull the trigger. What? We have to save those people! Those people are already dead. And that creature is too dangerous to allow to live. If you have an alternative suggestion, I still wouldn't listen. This is the only way, I'm afraid. Maria? He's right. I don't like it, but... We really don't have another choice. Very well. I take it you can get us access to the dome? Yes, as long as they don't kill us before we reach it. Don't let me worry about that. Through that door. Exterminate! I'm not dead. How? I extended the shields around the dome. Looks like they've been waiting for us. Indeed we have. You killed everyone! Are you done? What did you think that would accomplish? Make me feel better. Wait, it's smaller on the outside. You really are wasted as a security guard, aren't you? Maria, if you wouldn't mind? Yes, of course. Take my screwdriver, just point it at the access terminal, and think open. How very convenient. Isn't it? Never lets me down. Doctor! Ah yes, hello there. Now that we have a moment to talk without having to worry about you getting ever excited, I have some questions for you. Very well. But first, I have a question for you. How do I access the TARDIS? Well, that actually answers quite a few of my questions, thank you. And you simply walk in, provided you have a key of course. I see. Your turn. This thing is useless. I'll do it myself. Not now, Maria. Anyway, where are you from? From? I do not understand. Well, are you from this station? One of the exhibits? Are you from Teardrop? The question is inappropriate. Inappropriate? I am Teardrop. Oh. I have slept for billions of years in the molecular foundations of this planet waiting for the perfect moment to emerge. Ah, I see. In other words, kill the planet and kill you. Very helpful. You mentioned a perfect moment. That moment being? Even before absorbing the minds of this world, I wasn't stupid. I knew that trying to spread from Teardrop would eventually lead to my destruction. They'd find some way to counter me, to destroy me. Individuals are so innovative after all but they can never compare to the power of a collective. Ah, I see. You've inherited humanity's propensity for identity crisis. But that doesn't answer my question. What perfect moment? 
the moment when a solution to my problem came. A ship that could travel in time and space. I see, so it's my fault. Your fault? I suppose there's no point in keeping it a secret. The destruction of Teardrop, the destruction of you, it's a fixed point in time. You can't win this, it's literally impossible. Not impossible. Reggie. Sir. It's a trick. Please listen, Reggie. It's so peaceful in here. So beautiful. All the pain, all the fear, it just drifts away. Don't let them take that away from us. Don't let them murder us. You monster. You killed him and now you're stealing his voice. Shut up! What do you mean? We think as one. We feel as one. We can bring order to the stars. They want to create chaos. Look inside yourself. You know I'm right. This wouldn't even be happening if he wasn't here. Well, at least that part is true. He's got me there. Got it. Stop them! Please, Reggie. If you don't do this, humanity will be doomed to destroy itself. I have seen the truth behind the veil of time. The truth he wants to hide from us. Stop them before it's too late! All we have to do is push the switch. All right then. Stop! Oh, come on. Don't tell me you believe that thing. Maybe. I don't know. What if it's right? My brother is down there. He could still be alive. Don't be ridiculous. You can't gamble the fate of the universe on the life of one person. Nobody's that important. He is to me! Reggie! That was a warning shot. Next two go through your heads. Take your hands off the detonator. Please, listen. No, you listen. I just... I just need, need a second to figure it out. Well done, boy. Now take the TARDIS key from the Doctor and give it to me. It's much too dangerous to trust him with it. Your brother is waiting for you, Reggie. Reggie, please, just for one moment, think. If this really was a collective of consenting minds, wouldn't your brother be the one sending you this message? What are you... Ignore him, Reggie! If some part of your brother was still alive, then he'd be the one talking to you instead of Captain Stewart. The Entity's just using him because he's a handy, familiar flesh puppet to spout its lies. But... how can I be sure? Look at it, Reggie. Look at its eyes. It's not Captain Stewart anymore. Don't be ridiculous. You're right. There's no light behind you anymore. Good. Now just put the gun down and we'll... I... come on! Yes, you can. Just... just put the gun down. No! I mean... I really can't! Impressive, isn't it? I only needed to plant that tiny seed of doubt. Enough to create an opening. I can't move my arm! I'll make sure I don't destroy your brain, Doctor. A mind like yours would make a fine avatar. And the TARDIS will accommodate my needs as a new home now that I no longer require the planet. Reggie? What's your brother's name? What? You heard me. What is it? Max. And how would Max respond if someone tried to force him to do something he knew in his heart was wrong? He'd fight. Kill them now. Fight it, please. For every other brother, mother, sister, father, and everything in between that inhabits every corner of space and time. In this instant, you are more important than any other being in creation. Fight it! Kill them now! He... he shot himself. He knew the Entity could not be beaten, so he did the only thing he could. Come on, we only have a couple of seconds. Push that detonator. Right. Come on now, into the TARDIS. Ah! What's wrong? One with me. It's Reggie! He's got my leg! One with me. Are you alright? I shot his arm off! Wow, you really are a genius. One with me! 
One with me. One with me. One with me. Are you alright? Made you a cup of tea. Hope you like sugar. All right. All right! My life has been destroyed. Everyone I'd ever known and loved is dead, and my childhood hero has turned out to be a planet-destroying lunatic in a creepy old box. So you're saying you don't want sugar? What happened to you? You're supposed to be some kind of hero. A symbol of hope. <laughs> Ridiculous idea. I'll just try and help out where I can. Here. Come and watch this. What is it? It's a teardrop. It's the last moments before the black hole detonator sucks it into nothingness. Along with the entity. It's beautiful. And horrible. Why are you watching this? Well, today, I had no choice in how events transpired. I merely did as time required of me. That isn't always the case. Despite that, I'm still responsible for this. I made this happen. No. If what you're saying is true, then how can you possibly blame yourself? Because sometimes I do have a choice. And on those days, the memory of this moment will be the reminder not to let anything like this happen again. I see. So you're not a monster. Well, that's up for debate. But I try not to be. You know what I think? I could have a good guess. What? I think you need someone. I think you've been alone a very long time, and that's bad for you. Am I onto something? <laughs> you might be. You need a friend. Someone to look out for you. Keep you anchored to the real world. And since you blew up my old life, may as well volunteer. Well, we blew up your old life. And would you really want to come? Of course. Don't you want me to? Suppose. Can't be any worse than talking to the gargoyles. You don't talk back, do you? All the time. <laughs> well, we'll have to work on that. <laughs> so where would we go first? I'm not sure. Spending all that time in a museum staring at the universe behind glass. <gasps> Show me something I've never seen before. Have you got anything in mind? The ocean. I've never seen the ocean before. Well, except from orbit. I've only ever heard stories about how beautiful it is. Especially on Earth. I've always wanted to go to Earth. Well, coincidentally, that's my favourite stuff. Very well. Salty air and the stink of fish and high risk of being eaten by predatory wildlife coming right up. Wait, what? Computer, give me the report. Teardrop destroyed. Temporal grids preserved. The doctor's targets left the time zone. Very well. Maintain temporal surveillance procedures. Now that we found the route of the paradox, we just have to keep track of them. Where are they going next? But that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs>